Let us learn more about data link layer protocols and its different types. What is a protocol? A protocol is a system of digital message formats and rules for exchanging those messages in or between computing systems. It may also include formal description then it may have uh, authentication and error detection Let us see two very basic type of data link clear protocols in detail. First is an unrestricted simplex protocol and second is a simplex stop and wait protocol. Thus the assumptions that are to be taken in an unrestricted simplex protocol are first is data transmission in, is in one direction only that is it is a simplex. Second is there are no errors on communication channel. Third is sender can generate infinite amount of data and similarly receiver can process infinite data always ready for sending or receiving depending on sender or receiver so here there are two distinct procedure first is sender and second is receiver Sender is on the DLL of source machine and uh, receiver is on the DLL of destination machine. Um, there are no sequence numbers and acknowledged numbers required or used here. There is just one event type at receiver's side which is frame arrival where the frames are undamaged. Now we see that the sender is an infinite loop where the loop has three actions. First is fetch data from network layer. Second is form an outbound frame and the last third is send frame on its way. So the procedure at receiver is also equally simple. After the fetching of data at DLL, it is passed to network layer and sits back waiting for the second frame. So the second is a simplex stop and wait protocol. The assumptions are communication channel is RFT. 
and the data traffic is in one direction the problem solved here is it prevents sender from flooding the receiver that is data faster than what a receiver can handle is not send now here the sender waits for an acknowledgement frame before sending another frame and keeps the copy of previous frame until it knows that the frame has been received correctly and the receiver will send no acknowledgement in two cases which are if the frame received is damaged and second is if the frame received is out of order for identification purpose the sequence in acknowledgement frames are numbered 0 and 1 alternatively when the sender does not receive acknowledgement frame within the time limit it sends the copy of frame maintained because the sender assumes that the frame has not been received correctly. Late acknowledgements also lead to same result of Resending frames. This figure makes the process of stop and wait protocol much simpler and easier. Here we see that first frame 0 is sent and the acknowledgement for next frame is sent that is acknowledgement 1 which means that the receiver is now expecting frame 1. When frame 1 is sent, acknowledgement 0 is sent. Now frame after receiving acknowledgement 0, frame 0 is sent. But frame 0 is lost in between. Thus the receiver sends no acknowledgement for the same. And as the time outs and no acknowledgement has been received, sender knows that it has to send frame 0 again. After receiving frame 0, again acknowledgement 1 is sent then frame 1 is sent. Now we see that the acknowledgement 0 is lost in midway and the times run out. So the sender again assumes that frame 1 has not been received thus it resends the frame 1. But since receiver has already received the frame it discards it and thus sends the acknowledgement 0 again and the process goes on.